Hello and welcome to The Pin Man. All right, today we are going to be looking at the Mahjong A1. Now, right off the bat, you say, okay, that's a copy of a Pilot Vanishing Point, and you are correct. It is in many ways. There's only some very subtle differences. This one has the same kind of trap door for the nib that the Pilot Vanishing point does. The clip is the same. The clip is uh, firm, but not too firm. I usually, and when I clip my pins in my pocket, I usually have my fingernail there anyway uh, to kind of help it in. But I tried this on a couple other pockets and it fit in uh, very well. The finish on this is what they call scales. And then the other parts of the pen are this matte black, almost like a powder coating. So there's a slight bit of texture there. It's not real slick, uh, slick shiny. It's not. It's not a. It isn't a black chrome. Uh, there's a little bit of black chrome. You can kind of see right there on the band. This is different than the Pilot Vanishing Point, which has these two basically two beads for their bands. Um, and then the scales go back again to this click mechanism. Okay, that click mechanism is um, is solid. I, I think it's a solid uh, click mechanism. This is a well-built pen. Now, uh, this style is offered, but you have to buy it from uh, someplace in, you know, places in Asia, Japan, I'm not sure what the extent the pilot uh, sells this particular style, uh, but you can't buy this in the U.S. that anywhere that I know of. And uh, one of the stores that I saw uh, from uh, Japan, uh, you would pay $286 for this pen. Uh, now, this style, as far as uh, Mahjong, they have five, six, anyway, they have this uh, black in the scales. They have black with stripes, the same basic finish, just stripes. And then they have a matte black. They also have th this style and uh, with the scales in silver and scales in the stripes. You can get the matte black, the Pilot Vanishing Point matte black at uh, at least, uh, I saw Goulet Pins sells it and they charge $168. This pen will run you about $23. That's what I paid for it. The So that, that's a big difference. And um, obviously uh, I understand the Concerns people have about uh, this is definitely a blatant copy. Uh, you know, it doesn't say pilot on on there anywhere, but you know, still, it is. Uh, but again, uh, you know, for folks that for folks that want a pen like this, but you know, they can't afford even to save up. You know, to sp to spend two hundred and eighty six dollars, uh, not counting taxes, is really prohibitive and so it's nice to have something available what you're not going to get with this you will not get a the backing of a quality company uh, yes the sellers on ebay and probably aliexpress they'll they'll give you a 30 60 90 day money back guarantee but um you know they're, they're not going to warranty this for two years uh and whatnot whereas you buy it you buy the, the genuine pilot, you're gonna get a better warranty. And time will only tell how well it is built. Okay, you unscrew the back section there and you have your nib component. And this comes with a converter and it looks uh, very similar to the Con 40. The nib, again, is an extra fine, nothing fancy there. Uh, very familiar, if you're familiar with the uh, Vanishing Point nib units. 
Okay, now something that also comes with, you get this little package, at least that's what I got, and you, you get an empty cartridge, and this is the same as a uh, pilot cartridge, so you get you know opportunity for some good uh, ink volume there. You get a, an extra ink cartridge. This one has a cap. I think this is a great idea. Um, they, I, I did see where they, you can get a pack of these with the caps, uh, like five of them. I can't, I can't remember how much they were, but you know they're going to be cheap. But anyway, excellent for travel. And then you have this cap here that goes over. Uh, the cartridge as it sits in the pan just to help protect it. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, it'll help protect that. And then you get this uh, little pipette, I think they call these, and uh, to get your ink into your cartridge. Now, one of the differences in uh, the operation of this pen, and this is really minuscule, but uh, it may be a a bug to you is the spring tension positioning what have you that this little guide nub goes in because when it just sits there it's not in there you have to push it in and personally I don't I don't feel like it's a problem I get it in there and that's not gonna work <laughs> and then you know you kind of move it it if it's anywhere close you're gonna get it in there and it's not, it isn't a big deal. In comparison with Pilots, this is my uh, Decimo. And notice, again, there's the beads, two beads, this same thing on the vanishing point, same kind of, and the difference of the band. Okay, so you bring this over and see how Pilots, you got that same nub there. And if you, if you tip the pin up, it sets right down, right down in there. So anyway, just one of the differences. And then you just stick this, like I said, you just hold it in there. So it adds a little bit of, eh, but it works. The body length of the pen is just pretty much like a vanishing point and probably the decimal too. Here, here are the two pens side by side. Uh, it's 141 inches from the end of the click mechanism to the tip of the pin there. And then the girth of the pin at the its widest point is 13 millimeters. The grip area, which I measured across at the skinniest part of the clip, and that is 11 millimeters. So it's a, it's a nice feel in the hand. You may want to choke back up on a little bit. I think I actually hold it. I don't hold it down here. So, you know, you, you're talking, you're probably talking, you know, 12 to, you know, 12 millimeter grip for most people. So how about a uh, size comparison? Here you have the Mahjong A1. You have the Pilot Metropolitan. You have the Jinhao X450 and then you have the Lamy Safari. And here you have the pins uncapped. Obviously you're talking very much different in the style, but just, you know, so you can get kind of get an idea there of how small that, that nib is in comparison to the other pins. All right, how about a writing sample? All right, here we go with the now I know this this brand is spelled differently in <laughs> on different sites, so I'm just going to do it like it is on some of them there. But the Mahjong A1 and this is an extra fine. The ink 
is diamine blue black all right <clears throat> there really is no issues with the nib uh, no hard starts no skips it for an extra fine nib I, I think this is pretty smooth um, yeah, I have no, no problem with this nib. <laughs> okay, just for the sake of it. Okay, reverse writing. It does do reverse writing and it does it well. A little more feedback, but you can still get an extra, extra fine. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, if you really have, and the advantage of that is if you, depending on the, the kind of notes that you're taking, uh, boy, this would be, you know, excellent in a, especially if you have a fast drying ink uh, and you're writing on absorbent paper, whatnot. Uh, I'd have to try it in some other papers that I have, but that would be excellent to be able to have that opportunity. Now it's a little cumbersome writing with it uh, and you got that clip on the bottom there some people are bothered with it on top but anyway so there there you have that now don't go away because I have a special here so what do I like about this pen yeah I like it even for an extra fine I, I really don't mind using it I like mediums but I can I can write with this and be happy all right so I'm going to go back to auto focus here. And as I said, I got a little extra and I want to show you what, what I've done. Okay, so you don't really, some people have a big issue with the, you know, buying a copy. But one of the downsides of this pen is it only comes uh, in an extra fine. So what I did in support of the very fine company of Pilot Pens, I bought me an extra nib. And the total still doesn't come anywhere near you'd, what you would pay uh, for a whole pen. Anyway, so there you have the Genuine Pilot pen, and these will fit. In these pen, and I was able to get it in a black with a black nib. Uh, they said it was matte black, but that looks kind of shiny, but ain't no thing. Okay, so you got a Genuine Pilot nib. Okay, so how about a writing sample of that. Let's see, here we go. I just inked this up, so sorry about that. And then it hasn't been sitting enclosed, but so you have the Mahjong. Little skip there. A1. No dash. And this is Mummy Obsidian. All right. Now I'm seeing some some skips there on this on this pilot. So could be that I just inked that up. Like like I said, it. it there wasn't anything enclosed, so, but of course, Pilot's nib, very smooth. It is wet. Doesn't show it that much, but it goes on nice and shiny. Uh, reverse writing. Scratchier.
and doesn't do a very good job reverse riding. I do like this nib. And so I like the fact that you can get these, that you can get a pilot nib. You can get a stub nib, you can get the broad nib and just put it in there. So you're still supporting pilot pin company, but um, anyway, so you have that. So, so pros and cons in, uh, hopefully really quick. Uh, the pros, the, the design. I really like the design on this. I mean, this is just cool. I, I like the build of the pin. It seems very well built. I will probably end up taking this one to work, but I'll keep my Pilot G2 close at hand in case somebody needs to borrow a pin. They're not borrowing this. Another pro is it does have a smooth tip, even for an extra fine. And the fact that it uses Pilot vanishing point uh, nib units. That's that's great. Cons. This thing's only available in extra fine. Just the way it is, they may expand that in the future, but for the time being, it's only an extra fine, but thankfully for an extra fine, it's enjoyable uh, to use. Some may find the clip, and this is true with the vanishing point as well. Some may not like that clip being right where you where you hold your pen hold their pin like this, I don't know. But, you know, you may have a different style of holding your pin than what I have. And this clip may get in your way. So whether it be this Majan A1 or the Pilot Vanishing Point slash Decimo, uh, either one, these clips may get in your way. So the reason why they obviously did put the clip there so when it's in your pocket, the nib is up and you're much less likely to get ink drips. Personally, I, I don't find it, I was kind of surprised I didn't find it uncomfortable, but yeah, I don't find it uncomfortable at all. Okay, thanks for watching and you have a great day.